What are we doing, Craig? Well, I'm spilling coffee on my shirt, but I'm just gonna put this mug right here to cover up the stain. Yeah, you need two coasters. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Craig, this is Matt. You, you know that if you've watched this channel before. We have been doing this thing on another channel called Topic Town on Wheezy News, but we've moved, now we're gonna move it over here to the good stuff. In the meantime, between all the production that we're doing on this channel, because we're working on some stuff. Mm -hmm. we, got, we got four playlists in the works yep. right now. Uh, in the coming months, they'll be coming out. So don't get too excited just yet, but they'll be coming out. So yeah. get a little excited. Yeah, well, you can get excited for this. Get excited this for was, Topic Town. Yeah, because this so, will be happening in between in the, the playlists, we're going to do this very conversational thing called Topic Town. We're going to pick some topics that some of them are probably relevant to the playlists that we're working on. Yeah. And uh, also, there will be short stuff videos and other one off videos on this channel, not just this. So if you hate this, don't go away. There's other things too. Yeah. yeah. Make a bad impression. Very dirty. Bad impression. No, you did good. It sounds good. Okay, good. Yeah, you look good. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, the the uh, the stain is like makes it more relaxed. Yeah, you know, we're not. Yeah, we don't care. Yeah, <laughs> we're not. We're not corporate. <laughs> yeah, we're not trying to look good for you. Right. So, uh, what well, what's the playlist we're working on? An upcoming playlist. Can we and tell I, them? Should we tell them? Yeah, we can tell them. Let's well, tell the them. the uh, the first one we're working on is is all about sleep. The mystery of sleep. Ooh. Mm-hmm. But what uh, the one we're what are we talking about today? Is that what, well? Th this one, this one actually, uh, the topic we're going to talk about today, which is about scientists reversing the aging uh, aging process in mice. Mm -hmm. um, this has to do with our last playlist or the place playlist we're in the middle of right now, uh, because mm -hmm. we did a video with uh, an interview with Aubrey de Grey, mm -hmm. who was who's a scientist working on yeah extending human lifespans. Mm -hmm. um, this uh, this article, which was on abc.com, uh, is about scientists doing similar work. It's not the same. It's not Abu de Grey, uh, mm -hmm. as far as I can tell. It's, it's scientists at Harvard and the University of New South Wales. And what they have done is reversed the aging process in mice. What? And apparently they did this by feeding a certain molecule to rats, and it reversed their aging. There wasn't much description of what that means, reversing their age. I don't know, like, did they turn into babies? Or if they were, like, 12, then they became 21? <laughs> that would have been, that would have been, if they were 12 and turned 21? They would flip it around, reverse it. Oh, I see, I mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. I'm being silly. Because, because if they get older, that's yeah. like they, they didn't, they forwarded mm -hmm. the aging process. So this is for our entropy playlist. This, is, yeah. this has to do with our entropy playlist, which we have one more video for, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But has, that's not out yet. No, it will okay. be out yeah. very soon. All right, so what did we, why, what does that mean then? I didn't read the article, you read it. I, it I read me. it and I don't really know what it means either because they don't really describe what re reversing the aging process in mice means. I, like, I don't know if like, I don't know how you tell, is there... Does, that mean they're getting they're younger? They're more immature. They're like Benjamin Buttoning? They're irresponsible. They can't drive a car. I don't know. You don't know what it means. I don't know what it means. It doesn't say. I mean, there's probably a paper that could be read. So what have we <laughs> learned? Is, what can we teach com. them about this? Well, what struck me mm -hmm. uh, about this article mm -hmm. was that, you know what? I feel like every couple of months there's an article about scientists doing something to mice that is like either extending their lifespan or reversing their aging process. And I did a quick Google search, and it is true that like there's, uh, there was like a couple months ago, there was one about um, they put young blood, young mice blood, into old mice, and it reversed the aging process. And there was a couple more. So this is like they're doing this all the time, and some of them were the same people here that are doing it. So like these people mm -hmm. are they're they're going at it from all angles. They're out. They're doing it. They're just spending their entire. Entire day just making mice younger. But what did the article say about reverse aging? It just said it just said they did, they did it with a molecule. But it, <laughs> but it didn't explain more. See, this is the importance of research <laughs> and not believing everything you read. You got to go more in depth to what they mean because well, I've discovered when we do research on things that journalists, bless their hearts, mm -hmm. tend the not maybe not the most respectable ones tend to amp up the story with their words just to get people to read when it's really with reverse aging so that means they're actually becoming Benjamin Button and they're gonna become little baby mice that's like that's, I mean, that's playing fast and loose with words sure. journalists you know I'm sure this is important you know scientifically yeah. but it's it, and maybe the actual like nuance of reverse aging is a little 
Maybe it's a little too complicated for an ABC.com article. <laughs> Could That's be. only you know two hundred words long. Yeah. But uh, it would be interesting to know exactly what they mean by reversing the aging of. I wish I wish news articles. Uh, maybe we'll get to this point someday in society. But I wish they'll get to they'll we'll get to a point where news articles work more like Wikipedia, and it's like uh, links in the articles to more more detail like you go to an article yeah another article one thing, the article did not have a link to the paper or anything like that i was that's what i was hoping yeah it's because they have they haven't they have a uh, invested interest in keeping people on their website yeah to they make don't want, money they don't want people they don't want to link people someday away. hopefully society we we abandon that and we just care more about learning and about information which is what we're trying to do here on the good stuff yeah right yeah all right yeah um scientific journalism aside um, I want to move on to a couple of things that, uh, about this article that I thought about. Sure. Uh, one that was a Dr. Sinclair was one of the guys who was uh, involved in this, and he mm -hmm. has a quote here. He says, "Some people say it's like playing God and uh, you know reverse aging and stuff like that." And but he says that it would have been the same back in like uh, the days before antibiotics. That people would have thought the same thing about antibiotics. That 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 was playing God, which I actually, I think, I, I disagree with. I don't think people back in the day... We have you know, creaky chairs, by the way. <laughs> um, it's, it's just stay very still. Okay, okay. But I think back in the day, before we had antibiotics, when people were dying of, like, diseases and infections, I don't think people would have thought that antibiotics was, like, playing God. Because I think the difference is, is that aging... Um, disease, people didn't, I don't think people ever thought disease and like infection was a natural thing. You know, like mm -hmm. people didn't think like, oh, you know, like he, he, you know, he should get sick and die. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, like, that happened to young people. That would happen to young people. And when that happened to young people, it's, it was a, you know, it was a tragedy. It didn't seem like it was meant to happen. Yeah. But aging, you know, everybody gets old, you know, yeah. when people, everybody, everybody gets old and everybody dies. So that seems like a natural thing. So I, I feel doesn't, like that, uh, um, Aubrey de Grey, didn't he think? Think of aging as a disease? Didn't he think of it as can, a condition? You can, but we mm -hmm. that is that isn't the way people thought about it. People thought about a aging mm -hmm. as like just the natural process of life. But I don't think people have thought about disease that way. So it's you like, don't you, think so? Are you sure? You know, I don't think that people you, thought You don't like, think that antibiotics people, people thought that uh, antibiotics were playing God? I don't think so. Do you I think so? Think, Let us know in the comments. So I think that's I think there's a difference. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I uh I, I assume I assume that people think of aging differently than they think about antibiotics. But maybe someday we'll get to the point where technology can allow us to extend aging a lot more, and then we might start to think of it as a disease. Yeah, I think that mm -hmm. you, they, it could be thought of that way, mm -hmm. but I don't think people think about it the same way. Right now, they probably think about it like the, you're these, playing God. These, these these scientists probably think of it that way. We're not sponsored by WBEZ, but that is a good public radio station here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, anything else? Uh, I was a couple. Ryan and I, Ryan Wolf, also on the good producer here, of the good we're, stuff. We're brainstorming some some possible problems that might crop up mm -hmm. if we were able to reverse the aging process and extend our lifespans indefinitely. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things we thought about was, you know, I assumed that like, you know, once we are able to stop aging and increase our lifespan, we're actually going to encounter problems we've never encountered before, and that's kind of like what we, you know, like now that we've we've increased our lifespan. Um, you know, now versus, you know, a hundred years ago. And mm -hmm. we were, we were experiencing different problems like heart disease, cancer is a bigger killer because we're living long enough to experience those diseases and they mm -hmm. become a big problem. So I feel like if we keep extending our lifespan, there's going to be these other problems that we've never really had to uh, deal with. Mm -hmm. uh, and Ryan and I were trying to figure out, like, what would they be? What would these problems be? One <laughs> is organs, are organs becoming sentient? And trying to take over the body, like your liver, like starts to like have a, like a mind of its own, and it, it wants to be in control. That's not the highly brain. theoretical. Is that your idea? Is that your idea? No, I think this was Ryan's idea. It sounds like your idea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is Ryan's idea. Okay, but I, I endorsed it. So yeah, that's something we got to watch out for. I'm not that, worried about that. You know, once you're like living for thousands mm -hmm. of years, you know, like maybe your your uh, your spleen is gonna want to go somewhere else. It you think your be... spleen is gonna evolve a brain? <laughs> It needs, you don't know. It, it you never needs know. more brain. I don't. I don't. I don't it's buy gonna, it. It's gonna. You know. It'll use some. Move else. on, please. Uh, and I think we're gonna have to deal with all these immortal mice that we're creating. <laughs> There's gonna be mice oh, that, yeah. that you can't kill. They're gonna be everywhere. That might actually be a real problem. <laughs> if 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 they suddenly like got like an immortal mi mouse got loose and started breeding. Yeah. That might be a problem. Yeah. We're gonna need to make immortal cats. But then again, if we're living long enough. 
I think we can figure we can figure out a way to. Uh, we'll have so much education and we'll know we'll, so much more about we'll build mice. Build a, a better mouse trap. We'll build a bigger mouse trap. <laughs> yeah, sure. A longer lasting mouse trap. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing, pets. We're, our pets' lives are going to have to be uh, lengthened, you know, proportionally to ours. Otherwise, you know, like because pets already don't live very long compared to humans. Mm -hmm. You're going to need to like increase your cat or dog's lifespan, you know, proportionally. Well, I think, think if we're if we can increase human lifespan, I think we should be able to increase animal lifespan. Yeah, yeah. I'm not too worried about that. It's just like it's another, my my dog Mitzi is going to be fine. It's something everybody's going to have to do, so that we're going to have to apply it to our pets. Mm -hmm. um, or we're going to have to change the kind of pets we have. Like, we're going to have to start having, you know, naturally long-lived pets like tortoises, like African gray parrots. Those will be the pets of the future. Maybe, yeah. I think this is just you wanting a pet turtle. That's, this is your, no, your this way is, of... No, this is just the, uh, convincing the consequences society that we're going to have to live with. That it's okay for you to have a pet longer. turtle. You just want a pet turtle. So... I mean, What's wrong with wanting a turtle? Turtles are cool, but like a giant one that yeah, seems they, impractical. Yeah, I want to be able to ride it. You can put that, a saddle on it. Mm, that seems that seems inhumane. Why? Well, if wh why would we, we ride have, horses? Why can't we ride tortoises? Maybe riding horses is inhumane. We have cars now. Yeah. Maybe maybe we shouldn't be but riding cars horses. Cars don't last as long as a tortoise. Maybe we shouldn't be riding horses. Maybe we shouldn't even be eating meat. Now we're getting into a different topic. Oh. Uh, I'm not a vegetarian, but we could talk about that another time. I think, are we done? Do you have more to talk that's, about? That's, that's, the, those are the only problems that we could think of. The only ones? Yeah. So that's it's, it. It's, 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 look, it's pretty bright. Those, the yeah, future. It's, it is. That's very few problems. <laughs> I can't, I can't imagine you have any other ideas of problems. Yeah, but the, you know, the organs living. coming to life and trying to kill you. Which or, is dumb. That's pretty serious yeah. and we're going to have to get, get to work on that mm -hmm. right away. No. Anyway, so this has been the first of hopefully a bunch of topic towns here on the good stuff channel again to reiterate this is not what the channel is becoming this is just in the meantime while we're working on the playlists this will be you know just extrapolating on the things we've talked about in yeah, previous videos this is like a outlet of knowledge yeah i mean yeah right here from here to you yeah you gotta you gotta let that knowledge pressure out yeah you gotta you gotta spray the knowledge spray all over okay it's getting weird <laughs> i think we're done so until Thanks. next time, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.